Hello violin players, welcome to Pro-Am Strings. I'm Henriette and in this lesson we're practicing exercise 120 on page 34 of the Overstrings book. And this is a good exercise to practice placing your left hand fingers in the right way on the G string. So it is uh, exciting on all fronts, I would say, because you really get to practice that G string extra well and I'm hoping that by the end of this lesson, you'll feel a lot more comfortable playing on the G string. So what happens when we play on the G string? Our left hand comes right round, so you want to first check that this knuckle here, the base knuckle of your index finger, is level with your strings. So if you find yourself playing with this base knuckle too low down, then, then that makes it much harder to play on the G string, so you want to go right up from the start. Secondly, you want to check your thumb because your thumb wants to be upright here and just peeking over the fingerboard. If this is you, you might work to get your thumb upright here. And you can see it's a little bit further along the fingerboard there. Thirdly, you want to check your left wrist and your left wrist should be well away from the violin. You should push it out this way. If this is you, you can perhaps see that my fingertips move the other way to where I need them, you see. So try to push the wrist out a little bit and that brings your fingers closer to the strings. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, you want to bring your left elbow under the violin. So if you're sticking out your left elbow, again, your fingers are moving away from where you need them. Now take a look at my fingertips while I move my left elbow further under the violin. And now I'm making my fingertips really nice and round and they're coming towards the G string, you see, that's where I need them. Now once you've got all these aspects checked, let's play the whole song, shall we? So let's just use the whole bow today on each of the notes. We're going super slowly. One, two, three, four. deserved rest because you will feel it most likely. Now that is because that left hand is twisted much more than anything that you do in everyday life. So if you find this near impossible to do on your first playing, that's okay. You will gradually stretch and be able to twist your forearm a little bit further as you go along and practice this. So this is not a one-off practice. You will practice this for perhaps two weeks, maybe three weeks, and you want to come back to this every day and you feel at some point that everything will be a little bit easier to do. And as with so many other techniques in violin playing, the body needs time to adapt and to grow around the instrument. And this is literally a matter of taking your time to grow around your instrument. And once you've got that, it's going to help you in all of the later pieces that you're going to be playing. So well worth spending a little bit of time on. So our left hand position is the first thing that we're addressing in this lesson. The second issue is something that we've already come across in earlier lessons, and that is leaving your fingers down. And today we're going to go one little step further, and that is when you play a higher finger, try to take your lower fingers along with you. For instance, if I play Finger one, followed by a three. 
I'm really playing one, two, three. And also when I'm playing G and then two, I'm playing G one and two. I'm calling this secondary finger action. So I'm using a finger that I'm not playing at that moment, but I'm involving it. So one, two and three. You could also argue two, three and four. Now that is a more challenging combination of fingers because the third finger is close to the second finger. Can you see that? But you might practice that a few times. Two, four, two, three and four. You see? Let's practice it one more time and then working on our secondary finger action. One, two, three, four. One and two. Fingers two and three. techniques and using the correct techniques is going to help you progress not just today but also in the long term so you're doing wonderful work well done and this might be a slightly drier phase in your learning where it's really technical that's okay because it helps you progress so if you've enjoyed this lesson please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button and I look forward to seeing you very soon goodbye